Hello everybody, this is Walking Ultra, back again to another video. It's picking up after the last one, where we went after the uh, Moth Priest, uh, which we're claim, uh, claiming both. We're back in Northern Elsewhere, of course. By uh, the Riverhold uh, of which Shrine. The Fashion House over there, Skitters right there, and my Master Antiquarian, the Root Mender. Alright, let's uh, get to looking. Let's go. We've been looking for a Tenshinio. <laughs> I'm kind of looking for a Tenshinio artifact here. The stained glass of lunar phases. Much like the uh, Mosh Priest uh, one. This was the second. Uh, um, the codex entry, sorry. <laughs> I had a complete brain fart there. Now, you find this one much like the uh, Boisra statue uh, lead in Southern Elsewhere. You find the lead for this one in Northern Elsewhere by defeating dragons. That is the only way to find it. So, if you want to find this one, much like the Boethra one, you have to go out there and kill some dragons. Alright. Now, that's the uh, a zone, uh, wandering zone boss, uh, bosses, boss dragons. Not the ones you could you kill during the uh, northern, northern uh, elsewhere uh, quest line. Just so we're clear about that. Alright, let's get to fun again. That was close. <laughs> that was very, very close. Okay. It appears that it is near the prowl. Oh, it's near Predator Mesa. Okay. Right. Let me take a look here. Alright. Let's ride. Right. Feel like uh what's that song? Those fires in the sky by uh bad by our spider base should be playing right now. <laughs> yeah. Let's ride Johnny Blaze I said that. To the old uh, cowboy. It, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. No good can come of that horse. That is one big Kajidi. Those palm are huge. Oh, it's a dragon battle.
Yeah, there's a quest there. I'll mark it on the map. to 31. Nice. Hey, you need uh, to level up. A weapon skill or something like that. A good way to do it is actually by uh, Bunch of short tails, a lot of them. <laughs> Trust me, if you know anything about the the uh, Ta'aka slang, calling a Kishidi, especially a Kishidi male, a short tail, is a big time insult. It really is. And yes, it is referring to exactly what you think it is. Shooting at me now. Oh. <laughs> I was going to, but I don't need to. Nice. Found our starting point. Adamantium, that's the uh, crafting item. Alright. Okay. First one's from Virginia Spooka. A fully intact stained glass window? Simply remarkable. Someone clearly packed it away with great care. One can't help but wonder why. It squirreled the squirreled such a masterpiece away. I've never seen a window like this in the Kijuri temples I visited. Right. Now, the second one is from Viridia Numidia. Again, what is up with imperial names? That's because the Kiji never places window in one of their ancestral temples. See the similarities to imperial glasswork? 
clearly Tajidi glass workers made this for a converted temple, perhaps the chapel of Zenithar in Leowen. Wait. The temple in Chapel of Leowen is a converted temple? Huh. Imperial bastards. Anyway, well, I'll show you what it looks. It does give off light, by the way, and it will shine onto the uh, floor. So, it is quite a beautiful uh, sight to see. Yeah, you can see there how it shines on the uh, floor. Lovely. It, it truly is beautiful once you place it. It's lovely. The Kashyyyk described the changing of the two moons as a graceful dance. And this stained glass window somehow captures their elegance, especially under the moonlight. Yep, furnishing behavior is a light and traditional furnishing. That's the uh, furnishing limit type. So that is it for this one. Hope you liked it. Take care. See you guys in the next one. Oh, remember, the leaf of the stained glass window drops in northern elsewhere, and it only drops from killing dragons. But we will find it on the dragon's corpse itself. Take care, see you guys in the next one. Peace.